Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to have a look at my pistol build. Pistols in this game are not only viable, but they are effective against anything from rad roaches to bosses and everything in between. All you need is the right build. Now, as far as legendary perks go, uh, I use follow through for extra damage with uh, sneak attacks. Uh, I have what rads and master infiltrator, but those are just quality of life perks. And as far as legendary uh, specials go, I have three of them. So that's an extra 15 special points. However, I will not be showing those in the build today. I'm actually showing you a build without using those points because I want this to be something that anybody can run starting at about level 60 or so. So under strength, we have blocker for the enemies when they get close to us to help us with those melee attacks, bandolier and traveling pharmacy to lower the weight of ammo and chems. Uh, under perception, uh, I'm only using uh, some, of, some of the uh, perks available because there's, you can see I'm not using eight points and that's some of the legendary specials. So I have tank killer, obviously, because that works with pistols as well. And concentrated fire, so I can target specific body parts. And then one rank of each of the rifleman perks, because I do carry a rifle and sometimes I like to use it just to mix things up. Fireproof to protect us from explosions. Tenderizer for extra damage on the second shot and beyond. And strange in numbers to get a better effect from mutations when I'm on a team. And you can also see I have uh, three unused points. So there's some of the specials. So there's 11. And then there's four more points right there that I'm not using as well. So, so this is just the base 56 points total that I'm using for specials. And under intelligence, we have gunsmith, uh, just so I don't have to repair my guns as often. Now, if you're using an explosive, uh, explosive pistol, then you could always switch in demolition expert instead. You'll just have to be ready to repair, repair your weapon a lot more often. I have covert operative to do additional damage from ranged attacks, ranged sneak attacks. And I like to use automatic pistols mainly, so I will be using Gorilla Perks. I have all the Gorilla Perks maxed out. I have Gun Fu for target switching and the last two points in Adrenaline for extra damage when there's multiple targets. Bloody Mess for a little bit of extra damage. I use Better Criticals and Critical Savvy because this is a critical, a critical build. I'll be relying on those heavily. Starch Genes to hang on to our mutations. And good with salt because I do use food buffs and uh, I don't like my food to spoil. Now, as far as the agility goes, suppose you don't wanna run automatic pistols. Maybe you like using the Crusader or even revolvers. You just switch in the Gunslinger perks for the Gorilla perks. Everything else would be the same. Uh, another option you can do is you could actually do one rank of all the Gorilla perks and one rank of all the Gunslinger perks. You'll do a little less damage, but you can actually switch back and forth. And plus that would leave you with an extra three points under agility. You could use that to max out adrenaline, maybe make it rank five, or add in something like Born Survivor for extra survivability. And you'll also notice that I'm not using, even though I rely on sneak and sneak attacks, I'm not using sneak. And that's because shadowed armor with a, dec with a decent amount of agility and shadowed armor, you really don't need it. You can manage just fine. And if you're running low health with unyielding armor, you definitely don't need it. Now, as far as the mutations go, I use Speed Demon for faster movement speed and faster reload speed. Uh, herd Mentality to get extra special points, plus two when I'm in a team by myself, plus three when I'm in a team with other, other mutated characters. I use Herbivore to get double benefit from veggie foods. Eagle Eyes for extra critical damage and extra perception, which helps us with uh, weapon accuracy. Bird Bones for extra agility, which gives us extra AP and extra stealth. Now, as far as the food buffs I use, I use uh, Mute Fruit Juice for extra agility, Sweetwater Special Blend for extra perception, Tato Juice for extra AP, Blight Soup for extra critical shot damage, Corn Soup for extra AP regen, and Brain Fungus Soup for extra intelligence, which helps us uh, level up faster. Now, as far as the gear goes, uh, normally I would show something else on a build like this because the shielded lining for the Raider Leathers used to be really rare. Uh, but with the mutated party packs coming into play, that plan is, is slowly becoming a lot more common. So even if you don't have it yourself, you probably know somebody who does and you can get that mod. And this is definitely what I recommend for a stealth, uh, any kind of stealth critical uh, character because you get extra perception, extra agility, and extra luck. And all of those benefit uh, stealth critical builds. Now, as far as the armor goes, I am actually using Covert Scout, which does give you extra stealth. But you can still manage just fine if, say, you were using regular scout or leather armor that was sh was shadowed. Uh, and it's just a mix of effects. Mainly, it's uh, I have some AP regen pieces and uh, one that has poison resist and one that has fire resist. And all the armor is shadowed. 
Now to the weapon we're going to be using for the testing. I'm actually using a non-legendary 10 millimeter pistol. Uh, I figure that's something anybody can get their hands on. So yeah, it has a tweaked automatic receiver for extra critical shot damage, a lined long barrel a forceful grip to give uh, reduced AP cost. Same with the reflex sight. Stinging magazine for a little bit of armor penetration. Uh, suppressor for uh, sneak attacks. And hot rod shark paint because it looks cool. All right, I figure we can start off by shooting some robots. Saltrons are always very weak. All you have to do is shoot that fusion core. Everything else goes down pretty quickly. All that is with one magazine. The, the one downside about pistols in general is, uh, unless you have, obviously if you get lucky and get a quad, is the fact that as an automatic, it only holds 15, re uh, 15 rounds. So you will be reloading a lot, but reloads are reasonably fast. So it's not a huge issue. But if you're playing against a, a boss, sure is not, especially if you're trying to solo a boss, which you can do. I've done it with a 10 mil pistol, not a non-legendary one, but with a regular 10 mil pistol. All right, now we got a super mutant up here. Yeah, even the regular 10 mil without any kind of legendary effects still does pretty well. It has a reasonable AP cost. He's afraid. But as you can see, I uh, even though I've nerfed my character by you know removing those 15 special points that I was using, I'm still doing just fine uh, against super mutants. Not a problem. Assuming I can hit my target. And yes, I do jump. I saw a comment about that. I do jump at the end of the uh, <laughs> at the end of shooting, and that's because the jump. The jump and the critical button are the same. So yeah, when the enemy is dead and I'm still spamming those crits, sometimes I jump in the air, it happens. But enemies are going down just fine. Now, one thing I didn't show is I also have, I have a pipe pistol. It does a little bit less damage, although I've got adrenaline going, so it shows more. But yeah, I have a non-legendary pipe pistol as well. So it's a little weaker than the uh, 10 mil, but it does all right. And think about the pipe pistol is it reloads, it looks to reload a little bit quicker than uh, than the 10 mil. But I do like the sound of the pipe pistol. I think they're a lot of fun. And as you can see, I still do just fine. Taking out super mutants, easy peasy. Oh, now I'm in danger. Which means I do a little bit less damage, but uh, still not a problem. So I have switched back to the pipe pistol, and I, or I'm sorry, I've switched back to the 10 mil pistol. And uh, yeah, let's see what we can do against the Scorch Beast. Just need to get it down here, a little uh, closer range. I did not notice, okay, he's legendary, so it could take a minute. But as you can see, we still do, even against the big enemies, we still do okay. But it is not, uh, this is not a quad, so I will be reloading. Now I'm in danger, so a lot of my damage advantage is gone. All right, let's see. Uh, all right. Yeah, the big, the big issue here, obviously, is... Okay, wow. <laughs> so many enemies. And that is one of, the, one of the downsides of wearing, say, scout armor over something like Secret Service. Is my resistance is much lower. But I'm still doing okay. I mean, I'm still alive and most of them are not. We should be able to take care of this guy now that a lot of his helpers are gone. I mean, obviously we're not doing the same damage that you would with a fixer or a handmaid. But at the same time, we're not exactly struggling either. We're still getting the job done. Yep, he's down. I didn't die, and all of them did. And I like to finish things off by shooting a oversized super mutant. Yeah, the bi the biggest weakness, honestly, of pistols. Uh, I I know people think it's damage, but if you have a critical build, crits are doing most of the work. It's the clip size. So if you ever get your hands on a nice quad quad 10 millimeter pistol, uh, that's really the way to go. And there you have it. With the right build, you can have a lot of fun and do a lot of damage with pistols.
If it's something you've never tried in game, I strongly encourage you to do so. I really enjoy using them. If you enjoyed this video, please hit one of the buttons down below and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.